How do we solve a problem like the Church of England? Uh, <coughs> worship numbers are down and one group of women within the church want to start referring to God as she uh, because they say that using he, stop giggling, that he suggests that men are closer to God. Not only that, there's talk today of broadcasting, why are you laughing, Jamila? Sunday services online to attract uh, more worshippers. So, you know, these are modern, progressive, new ideas, Jamelia. Maybe a rebrand is, is what the church needs. Well, I mean, the, the, the whole God as a woman thing, I mean, what's the problem? What's wrong? I mean, and if, if we're now going to start referring to God as a woman, are we not then suggesting that God, that females are closer to God, which we know already? Um, <laughs> you know, I, I, just, I, just, I just think it's just, it's just all getting a little bit out of hand and a little bit, you know, all of this PC stuff. It's like, come on, give over. But saying that, when it comes to the technology side of yeah. things, I am not against it. I think, you know, you do have to move with the times. Um, oh, for goodness no, no, sake. No. So you've got well, a church now sitting at home with your iPhone <laughs> or your tablet. No. Well, OK, um, a, couple of, a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned that I went to a church in LA and I absolutely loved it. And I've watched a couple of services online and I think it's a, a great technological advance that I'm able to do that. Well, I think my the, whole point, the whole point of going to church... <laughs> Don't applaud as I sit in there doing that. <laughs> the whole point of going to church is to foster a sense of community. And what community have you got staring at an iPad? Mm -hmm. The whole point of going to church is to meet other people and share things. And, yes, I suppose you can enjoy the singing and enjoy the spectacle. Mm. As for God being a woman, well, obviously, if God is a woman, can she be called Jan? It. <laughs> um, because I'm not like other women. But I don't have a problem with, you know, God being a man or a woman. I think give women a go. You know, men have been running the church for centuries and as I, they've made a pretty big mess of it, haven't they? Because the Church of England's um, number of members in this country has dropped by half yeah. since 1983. And it's true that the Archbishop of Canterbury is worried and says the church is one generation away from extinction. Well, yeah, which is... So, with so. men running it, they l drag their feet over making women yeah. bishops, and there are still quite a lot of men at the top of the Church of England who don't want women to be yeah, bishops. Yeah, no, but having said that, this is not a, a gender split. There's a lot of women who don't want women to be bishops. There's a lot of women who don't feel comfortable with Listen, God if you being... Got a lot of members. You know, so it's it's not... like being in a club where you can't get anyone through the door. Change your membership policy. Mm. Just make it more accessible. Yeah. 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 Do you think Listen, calling God a woman is going to get us anywhere? I think calling God a woman is ridiculous. If God was a woman, we would not have periods. <laughs> <laughs> We would not give birth, men would. Yes. <laughs> and we would not, as we get older, get facial hair. <laughs> but then that makes us look more like God, so maybe it's all coming around. <laughs>